Wars have decided the future of the most powerful kingdoms on Earth for hundreds of years. Even though ancient battles were dangerous and scary, some men seem to have been born with a natural talent for fighting. Men who learned to master the chaos of war were said to become known as warlords. In today's video, we're going to tell you about warlords, their crimes, victims, and how they ended up. Number 1. Bar Abu Ghada Bar Abu Ghada was charged with three counts of war crimes because of what was going on in Dafur, Sudan. Abu Ghada was said to have been the leader of a breakaway group of the Justice and Equality Movement JEM, which was a rebel group fighting against the Sudanese government in the Darfur conflict. He was accused of leading JEM forces under his command, along with other rebel forces in an attack on the Haskanita base of the African Union mission in Sudan AMIS, in which 12 AMIS peacekeepers were killed and 8 were seriously hurt. The base was also badly damaged. Abu Ghada was charged with murder, theft, and intentionally directing attacks against personnel, installations, materials, units, and vehicles involved in a peacekeeping mission. Abu Ghada was told to go to court, and the hearing to confirm the charges took place. Pre-trial Chamber 1 later dropped the charges against him. Pre-trial number 1 said no to the prosecutor's request to appeal his decision. This meant that the case was over. Number 2. Mahmoud al-Wafali During the Second Libyan Civil War, Mahmoud al-Wafali was said to have killed or ordered the killing of 33 prisoners while he was in charge of al saika an elite unit of the Libyan National Army. In 2011, rebels fought a civil war in Libya and got rid of Muammar Gaddafi's government. In 2014, the winning armed forces split into different groups and started fighting each other for control of Libya. Between October 2014 and 2017, the Libyan National Army NLA, and the Shura Council of Benghazi Revolutionaries fought for a long time in the city of Benghazi. During this battle which took place, Mahmoud El Wafali is said to have killed 33 prisoners, which is a war crime. The court says that seven incidents were caught on video and shared by Al Saika's social media accounts. The videos showed prisoners being killed in ways that were exceptionally cruel, dehumanizing and degrading. They were shot close up while hooded, kneeling or having their hands tied. The NLA took Al Wafali into custody and said it would look into him. But the office of the prosecutor of the ICC said that there were different stories about whether or not he had been arrested. On March 24, 2021, he was shot and killed in Benghazi. Number 3. Abdullah Sanusi Abdullah Sanusi was charged with two counts of crimes against humanity because of what was going on in Libya. As the head of military intelligence in Libya, he is said to have worked with President Muammar Gaddafi and his inner circle to come up with a plan in response to the 2011 revolutions in Tunisia and Egypt. This plan told Libyan state security forces under his control to use any means necessary to stop people from protesting against his regime. In the early weeks of the Libyan civil war in 2011, the plan was put into action. Sanusi was in charge of the forces in and around Benghazi, and he directly told the troops to attack civilians who were protesting in the city. Sanusi was caught at Nouakchott International Airport in Mauritania. He had a fake Malian passport and had flown in from Casablanca, Morocco. On October 11, 2013, the pre-trial chamber once said that Sanusi's case could not be heard by the ICC because he was already being tried in Libya. Number 4. Vincent Otti Vincent Otti was charged with 11 counts of crimes against humanity and 21 counts of war crimes because of what was going on in Uganda. He is said to have been a military commander and the second in command of the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, an armed group that has been fighting the Ugandan government with guerrilla tactics since 1987. After the Rome Statute went into effect on July 1, 2002, he is said to have given orders to attack civilian populations. 
People say that these attacks led to sexual slavery, rape, the forced recruitment of children into the LRA, enslavement, cruel treatment, murders, the looting of camps, and other horrible things. It was said that Joseph Coney, the leader of the LRA, had Otty killed on his orders. Coney later told Riek Machar, a go-between for the Ugandan government and the LRA, that Otty was dead. Otty's death hasn't been confirmed by a third party, so the court still thinks of him as a fugitive who is still out there, and legal proceedings against him are still going on. If you have enjoyed the video so far, kindly like and subscribe for more. Number 5. Ongwen Dominic Ongwen Dominic was charged with three courts of crimes against humanity and four counts of war crimes because of what happened in Uganda. He is said to have been a military commander and part of the leadership of the Lord's Resistance Army LRA. There are now 34 counts of crimes against humanity and 36 counts of war crimes added to the list of charges. The prosecutor says that Ongwen led a brigade and then a battalion of LRA soldiers during a widespread or systematic attack against the civilian population of northern Uganda. During these attacks, troops led by Ongwen looted the camps and killed, tortured, enslaved, and did other horrible things to civilians. During the overall campaign against the civilian population, troops under Ongwen's command also persecuted civilians, forced women into marriages and sexual slavery, raped women, and enlisted and used child soldiers. Ongwen turned himself in to US military advisors who were helping Ugandan forces in the Central African Republic. Ongwen was taken into custody by the court, and he was taken to the court's detention center. He went before the court for the first time, and pre-trial chamber 2 held a hearing to confirm the charges. All the charges were confirmed, and the case went on to court. Number 6. Sylvester Mudakamura Sylvester Mudakamura was charged with nine war crimes because of what was going on in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He is thought to be the leader of the Hutu rebel group, Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda FDLR, which is fighting in the Kivu conflict. Mudakamura is said to have been in charge of the FDLR troops that attacked the Congolese military in the villages of Busurungi, Kipopo, Malembe, Manje, Mianga, and the areas around them. During the attacks, it is said that FDLR troops killed civilians, raped them, cut them up, treated them badly, tortured them, violated their dignity, destroyed their property, and stole from them. Mudakamura kept leading the FDLR in the Eastern DRC until the night of September 17th 2019, when DRC forces shot and killed him. Number 7. General But Naked Joshua Milton Blahi is a Liberian evangelical preacher, writer, and former warlord who is better known by his nom de guerre, General But Naked. He is best known for what he did during the First Liberian Civil War. During the war, Blahi was in charge of a group of soldiers who fought for the rebel group United Liberation Movement of Liberia for Democracy ULIMO. In 1989, Charles Taylor, the leader of the National Patriotic Front of Liberia NPFL, started a rebellion against Doe's government. Blahi joined ULIMO. During the war, Blahi and his soldiers, who were known as the Naked Base Commandos, fought without clothes and did many horrible things, like sacrifice children and eat them. Blahi stopped being a warlord and started preaching after he had a religious awakening in 1996. He said he did this after seeing a vision of Jesus. In 2008, Blahi told the Liberian Truth and Reconciliation Commission that at least 20,000 people had been killed by him. People had different reactions to Blahi's public testimony, which got attention from all over the world and led to him being featured in several documentaries. Do you agree with the warlords we chose? What other warlords do you think we should have put on this list? For more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel Spicy Boulevard. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video.